Hello friends, welcome back to Formfully. Here in this video, we are covering articulation subtopics that is presentation skills and storytelling. So let's get started with our first slide. Presentation skills and storytelling plays vital roles in effective communication and articulation. By honing your presentation skills and mastering the art of storytelling, you can effectively articulate your message and leave a lasting impression on your audience. Here are some points for good presentation skills and storytelling. First is engagement. Engage your audience by crafting a compelling narrative that captivates their attention from the start. Start with a hook or intriguing question to draw them in. Second is clarity. Clearly articulate your message, ensuring that your audience understands the main points. Use simple language and avoid jargon whenever possible. Third point is structure. Organize your presentation in a logical manner with a clear introduction, body and conclusion. Use transition to guide your audience through the story smoothly. Fourth point is visual aids. Use visuals such as slides, videos or props to enhance your storytelling and reinforce key points. Visuals can help break up the monotony of speech and make your presentation more engaging. Fifth point is emotion. Inject emotion into your storytelling to create a connection with your audience. Use personal anecdotes or stories to evoke feelings and make your message more memorable. Sixth point is authenticity. Be authentic and genuine in your delivery. Audiences respond well to speakers who are passionate and sincere about their topic. Seventh point is practice. Practice your presentation multiple times to ensure smooth delivery and confident articulation. Pay attention to your tone, pace and body language. Eighth and last point is feedback. Seek feedback from, from peers or mentors to refine your presentation skill further. Constructive criticism can help you identify areas for improvement and polish your storytelling techniques. Now we will see 9 tips for more powerful business presentations. First point is establish your credibility right up front. Begin your presentation by establishing credibility up front. Whether addressing a public audience or colleagues internally, it's crucial to build trust before delivering information. This doesn't require a lengthy introduction showcasing your career achievements. Instead, focus on demonstrating credibility right from the start. Now, second point is include a goal early in the presentation. When your audience understands the purpose or goal of the presentation upfront, they are more likely to connect your material with that the uh, that purpose as you deliver it. This alignment facilitates achieving the desired action at the end. Whether it's securing funding, gaining approval for an in initiative, changing perspectives, or simply fostering agreement and comprehension. Third point is use supporting material liberally. Be generous with supporting material throughout your presentation. While establishing your own credibility is essential, it's equally important to reinforce the credibility of your content. Instead of solely presenting information, supplement it with supporting evidence to bolster its credibility. This can include stories, statistics, research, references or quotes from respected figures that align with your message. Even if not included in your slide, ensure the supporting material is present in your speaking notes. Fourth point is begin separate ideas with powerful quotations or images to enhance impact. Commence each distinct topic or idea with pertinent quotation or full screen image that encapsulate the essence rather than relying on a standard title slide. If necessary, provide a brief word or two about the topic or simply vocalize it while letting the quote or image reinforce. This approach elevates the significance of your topics as compelling quotes or images resonate with listener and reinforce the associated content. Moreover, it diversifies the presentation, especially if dry material like sales graph or bullet points are unavoidable in your point in your powerpoint slides fifth point is ask thought provoking or rhetorical questions engage your audience by posing thought provoking or rhetorical questions before diving into presentation material this approach prompts them to consider the information within the desired context for example you might begin with you might wonder why or as i delve into this issue or I ask myself, or how much longer should we? Tailor your question to align with your audience's potential concern and characteristics. Ensure that your questions 
not only prompt reflection but also serve to advance your message and objectives of your presentation by providing answers and insights now sixth point is make startling statements capture your audience attention by incorporating startling statements into your presentation these statement are attention grabbing and when supported by relevant information effectively emphasize your points if needed highlight a single compelling facts even if it's not the primary focus this fact serves as catalyst for delivering your message and driving home its significance seven point is be prepared for difficult questions anticipate and prepare for challenging questions that may arise during a presentation or question and answer session particularly those that could derail your presentation or undermine your goals consider potential objection or questions your audience may arrive may rise regarding your points and information and cooperate the most critical ones into your presentation to prevent objections or be ready to address them on the spot this may involve justifying statements or addressing concerns raised by subject matter experts such as finance it or hr professionals who may be part of your audience being prepared to respond effectively and enhance your credibility and ensure a smoother presentation experience eight point is have your own questions ready in your in case nobody asks one allocate time for questions and answers at the conclusion of your presentation whether it's public or business focused one in the event no questions are posed have your own questions prepared that you can answer introduce them smoothly by prefacing with phrases like i'm often asked or you might still wondering about ensure your questions are aligned with conveying your message and accomplishing your goals employing them strategically even if questions are raised by audience you can still utilize your prepared questions towards the end of the question and answer session to reinforce key points or address any remaining uncertainties and last point is have a second or short closing after q and a after the q and a session incorporate a brief second closing again to encore or curtain call use this moment to reiterate and reinforce your key messages including your call to action while you may prepare a slide for this purpose strive to deliver the final closing without relying on visual aids this allows more for uh, this allows for a more direct and impactful connection with your audience emphasizing the significance of your message and leaving a lasting impression now we will see five essential tips for business storytelling first point is set the parameters ensure your business story is captivating and coherent by setting clear parameters without a focus narrative you risk losing the interest of your audience provide context from the outset to commence your brand story address the following queries who is the narrator of the story why is the story being shared where and when does it unfold who are the key characters involved what are their objectives what obstacles do they encounter establishing parameters enables you to craft a compelling story that resonates with your audience paint a vivid picture so that consumers can easily connect with the narrative above all clarify the purpose behind the sharing the story this will guide your audience through the storytelling and captivate them captivate them until the end now second point is be authentic authentic storytelling forms the bedrock of consumer trust avoid attempting to deceive your audience with an exaggerated narrative consumers can discern insincerity and they value honesty your business story doesn't need to be extravagant in fact if your business lack a remarkable history don't fabricate one a genuine narrative is more likely to resonate with consumers than fabricated one transparency celebrates your distinctiveness and acknowledges the human element of your brand acknowledge that challenges and failures are part of the journey by sharing your own experiences this fosters an emotional connection and highlights admirable traits such as innovation and resilience third point is have a clear outcome a compelling business story should impart a valuable lesson to its audience leaving them with insights and actionable takeaways it should offer a hopeful and thought provoking messages that encourages consumers to engage with your brand consider the story provided in late 80s faced with uncertainty about their niche in the software industry the storyteller embarked on thorough research using limited resources the discovery of niche market need for recruiting network solution led to establishment of top excellence recruiting network which has since grown significantly over three decades benefiting both recruiting firm and job candidates 
fourth point is be consistent consistency is key to maintaining a cohesive and engaging brand story ensure that your brand remains uniform across all communication platforms whether digital or print by utilizing consistent colors logos and slogans this repetition of visual elements and messaging fosters brand recognition and awareness among consumers moreover consistency extends to verbal communication about your brand mastery of your brand story is essential for effective sto- business storytelling familiarize yourself thoroughly with the narrative before sharing it with customers to ensure a natural and compelling delivery practice articulating the story until it becomes second nature reinforcing your brand's identity and message consistently consistently across all interactions and fifth and last point is get customers involved engage your customers through business storytelling by sharing personal experiences and lessons learned that relate to your brand by discussing how specific events have impacted you you create a connection that resonates with your audience making your story memorable and shareable encourage your customers to become active participant in your brand narratives you can achieve this by involving them in various ways such as featuring their stories or experiences in your business communications for instance petrit software highlighted the stories of customers like blackship boutique and lamp lighter braving corporation on their blog showcasing real life example of businesses that have benefited from their services this approach not only humanizes your brand but also strengthens the bond between your customers and business and your business remember that storytelling is on is an ongoing process that evolves alongside your business continuously integrate storytelling into your operation to attract and retain customers ensuring that each interaction contributes to your brand narrative thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe and share